My name's Stuart Conlon, my dad's Michael Conlon and he said that I can't play for the same club as he did. Well, we were always taught not to be involved in any political uh, endeavours or even the committee to keep it clear of all the problems going on around the club. And it's very hard to do from a player's point of view. No, the, the propaganda that was being circulated was that they're going to cut clubs off regardless and you know, if you wanted to survive in any particular way, this was... So the, I'm not saying it was misinformation, but there's so much stuff around that as a player it was too much for us to try and get ahead around. I mean, we had other things to do. That's why, at the end of the day, you've got to let people run the club, run the club. When Fitzroy went down, um, a lot of the supporters' hearts went down with the club and now that I'm out of the scene of AFL footy I, I can empathise even more. You know how a lot of supporters must feel that they've lost their club that they followed for years and years. I mean I followed Richmond as a kid but you know you lose that because you, you actually play and you get a bit mumbled up as to who you actually broke for. But um, very sad for the supporters and um, just a horrible time. I think we went through stages where, well, I felt responsible that we weren't playing well, so we weren't creating the revenue to survive. So um, you often sort of felt, well, if we were able to win some games and play well, then then maybe we'd be able to turn it around. So it was that expectation or that feeling of a little bit of, I don't know, you've let, I suppose, 100 years of tradition sort of go down the drain. You know, a couple of times you'd wake up in the morning driving the game and you didn't know whether you were going to play because whether the club had fold or didn't have enough money to pay for you. The players as a group were fantastic in the end, you know, like we just stuck together because at the end of the day that, that was all that was left. I mean, the coach had gone and the president had gone. I think some people don't realise how hard it was. Until I came up to Sydney, just a, it was an amazing feeling just to be able to play football and not to worry about anything else. And then all of a sudden I thought, well, this is probably the way it should have been for the last 13 years. So. And then I, I always had a lot of respect for anyone that played for Fitzroy, but I had a, a great, even greater respect at having come to Sydney, that, I, that the, what the players at Fitzroy went through that no other club had to. And the, and the performances we were able to put on the board under those circumstances, uh, anyone that pulled on a Fitzroy jump from probably 86 onwards uh, under those trying times, I, I certainly have a lot of time for. I guess for me as a past player, it's good to see the, the colours still going around, um, the Lion logo. Um, the lion name in the Brisbane Lions um, and I hope that we win a premiership and, and even though it's not Fitzroy I'll certainly be pretty pleased. You get supporters coming up and saying well we only follow Brisbane because you and John are playing and we, we see how you go so we think well what happens in a few years when John and I aren't here, um, where, where does that leave Fitzroy I suppose.